Hello guys, Dr. Leo is here. Now most of us have used over-the-counter antibiotics to treat different health conditions. You've used it to treat a sore throat, you've used it to treat uh, a common cold and that runny nose. We've also used it to treat pneumonia and this pneumonia apparently is the one that comes from cold water or cold showers. Interesting. We've also used antibiotics to treat tonsillitis without knowing the cause of these conditions. Now, most of the chicken and most of the beef that we consume is coming from cattle and chicken that have been fed with antibiotics as a result of trying to prevent these animals from getting different health conditions. Also, I've seen people using antibiotics like amoxicillin to chew mira or cut and that they say when you use that antibiotic the steam gets even better now this has led to something that is called antibiotic resistance now i'm not forgetting that most of our regulatory or drug regulatory uh, boards have failed us and they have failed us because they have allowed counterfeit products to come in as drugs they have also allowed the pharmaceutical industries because of money to just release substandard drugs and antibiotics into the market to satisfy the demand that is growing every day as a result of antibiotic resistance i'm not also for, i'm not also forgetting the fact that most pharmaceutical industries are unjust they produce uh, these antibiotics the tablets the capsules or the even the suspension for children they produce them on life scale but they utilize very substandard or sub, uh, therapeutic doses of antibiotics, the active ingredient in these drugs, so that they get to produce massive drugs because of their greed for the money. Now, all this have brought us issues with antibiotic resistance. I want you to relate. Do you now see why you are treating that uh, respiratory tract infection and is not going away? Do you now see why your child is always in hospital with upper respiratory tract infections like pneumonia, the gut issues that is not going away even after standard therapy of maybe 5 to 10 days of antibiotics? Do you now understand why that urinary tract infection that you have, even after treating it, it still comes back and recurs and you're wondering why are these drugs not helping? Are you even wondering why this so-called blood infection that doesn't have a name is always uh, every hospital you visit, you're told you have a blood infection, you have a blood infection, and you're treated with antibiotics that are not helpful, they're not helping you at all. Now, the problem lies with both us and the systems. So yes, the systems are working against us, but we are also working against ourselves. The systems are allowing these substandard drugs and counterfeits into the market. The systems have been, uh, they are so greedy, they are allowing the use of money, the bribes, so that they can just release all these substandard drugs in the market so that uh, they get to satisfy the need that is coming from us as the consumers. However, as consumers, we've always pushed our medics to write the drugs that we want because we think we've used Google enough to know about drugs and antibiotics. We also go and buy and purchase drugs, specifically antibiotics, over the counter anytime we have a common cold, anytime we have a sore throat, anytime we have a, even a headache. We buy them and abuse them. Now this will bring you problems because the next time your child, your parent, your relative, your loved one will be admitted to hospital for treatment. These treatments will be substandard. They will not help. The reason being, you have abused antibiotics to an extent that they have resisted. This bacteria have resisted that antibiotic. And the outcome is severe infections that cannot be handled. And if you handle them, then it will be very expensive. So you'll have long hospital uh, uh, hospitalization periods, you'll have expensive, more expensive drugs, you'll have more toxic drugs and drugs that have a lot of side effects that will help you recover from this condition that you caused by yourself. Okay. So these drugs that are reserved for these conditions that are resistant to common antibiotics are the ones that have higher side effects, they are very expensive and they will affect your kidneys and the liver. So please, do not abuse antibiotics. Do not abuse antibiotics for anything. Make sure before you use an antibiotic, 
it is ascertained that that antibiotic is effective for that condition. If you have a common cold, understand that common cold can come as a result of viral conditions that sore throat can come as a result of viruses, fungi, or bacteria. And if you use an antibiotic to kill, or that uh, antibacterial agent to kill a virus, you're not helping. That's the reason why you are getting into resistance. So please, treat antibiotics with utmost respect. Respect yourself and respect these drugs. In this channel, we do not encourage the use of drugs. However, for conditions that require the use of antibiotics, we do advise you to use antibiotics. And therefore, it is only fair that you stick to the antibiotic dose for the specific time of the, uh, the, specific, the specific period of uh, therapy. And also, just because one antibiotic saved you today doesn't mean it will save you tomorrow. Go and get a proper prescription from a medical doctor, a clinical officer, a pharmacist or a pharmaceutical technologist. Let them write that prescription and then use that prescription to purchase your drugs. Stay away from self-medication with antibiotics.